Alright guys, welcome back to Wolfenstein 2. Look at you got General Ingle right there. So, Americans, are you going to the concert tonight? Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK Brains, Jeb. Well, the music makes me happy. What's wrong with that, Wayne? Nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now, subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Thank, thank. Yes, out with it. Thank, thank you. <laughs> my God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Donk, uh, Sean? I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir, and I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, I like those hilarious small interactions that they've added. Hey, you. Hey, you. Yeah? You want to know a secret? All right. Well, I won't tell you, because you're a fucking Nazi traitor. Uh-huh. But you I can trust. All those Nazi scum will die like food. <laughs> He's a... Uh, star card. Uh, there was a guy like him in uh, Old Blood. You're a drunk guy just on the street. See, we got a newspaper, Reich Media, most honest in history. June 28, 1961, Roswell. A new government report reveals that the proportion of lying propaganda that used to plague American newspapers has dropped to 0%. The cleanup of the American media that started only a week after the former shameful regime surrendered completely continues to protect the American people from dishonest and deceitful news articles. Every member of the lying press realized the times of lies and slander were over when the San Francisco Journal's editor-in-chief was brought to televised trial for his untruthful editorial spreading harmful lies about the aftermath of the atom bombing of New York that brought peace to the American territories. Joseph Torres, the editor-in-chief of this newspaper, was reassured by the report it was the dawn of a new era of journalism. The new government efficiency removed the cancer that was spreading lying news with surgical precision and showed us all that it is better if the press work together with the White House to fight for a better tomorrow for all citizens. Sure. Roswell Cinema Schedule. July 4th, 1961, Roswell at the movie theater in Roswell. We are showing the following movies today. 11.50, A Time for Change. A heartbreaking movie about an ordinary convenience store clerk who struggles to convince his fellow Americans that change is necessary for the white man's survival. 1410. How the West was saved. The true story of how the West was conquered by the bloody hands of murderous Indians. 1750. Joe and the Robot Dog. During the Liberation War, an American patriot and his robot dog stand up against his communist boss who wants to create a multiracial workforce. What? 2110, America, the New Order. Lady Helene's epic story of how the Great Fear led the Liberation War that ended the tyranny in America and introduced the new American order. Coming soon, love in a time of terror. A strong German soldier and a beautiful female American news reporter fall in love, but a degenerate terrorist bomb attack traps them both in the city subway. They have only hours to make it out before they die. 
Have a nice movie watching experience, y'all. NB audience members are required to dispose of their waste. Anyone who disobeys will be reported to the authorities. Thank you for your cooperation. Hail Hitler. Jeez. Oh, I can't go in there? But they're playing Elite Hans. Look at these crazy vehicles. The big ass tire. Was that? Uh. You look familiar. Uh, bye. I took Mary Janice's Reconstal movie last night. She was worth it. Well, oh, we got another star card over there. Look at you people, celebrating your own destruction. Yeah, oh, what happens when you just bow down? The bottom one's the only one empty, which is the one we read. Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Ah, here we are. My Let's just dive. take a look really quick at uh, the other places. Make sure we can't go in anywhere or read anything like this. Book review of the Trumbar Journals. July 1st, 1961, Washington, the Trumbar Journals is a bone-chilling so-called alternate history novel about what would have happened if the Allies had won the war, written by Nobel Prize winning author Inga Kramer. It begins with the catastrophic events that leads to the defeat of the Glorious Army of the Reich, Hero Peter Trumbauer piloting the ship which, in our world, dropped the legendary atom bomb, der Bestroffer, over Manhattan, is shot down minutes before reaching New York. Trumbauer survives and swims ashore, where he gathers a colorful cast of heroic freedom fighters that soon become known as the last of the Aryans. With the army of goodness defeated, civilians itself falls into disarray, degeneracy, and corruption. It is against this harrowing, dystopian backdrop that we fellow Trumbauer and his Aryan freedom fighters in their struggle against an oppressive global regime. This is perhaps Kramer's finest writing to date, who is known for masterpieces such as Don't Forget the Fatherland and Your Heart is German. The pilots of the plot is riveting and the characters are so real that they almost jump out of the page. Above all, it effectively instills the reader with the dread of a society ruled by Jews, homosexuals, and other degenerates. While this may be incredibly offensive to many people, there is a message of hope in this book, and hope is all the very core of the glorious Reich. Our ratings, 4 out of 4 stars. Alright. Decided on a date yet, but soon you're invited, of course, Auntie. Oh, that's nice, dear. Give my regards to your father when you return to the farm. Oh, and tell him I'm putting some hardworking slaves up for auction this week if he's what interested. The? You'll be cocktails. I'll tell him, Auntie. Bye bye now. <laughs> bye bye, dear. Jesus. I guess there is the clan. Hey, mister. Want to buy a newspaper? I got today's news for you right here, mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some uh, kind of celebrity? Bye. Can't let him know. Don't mind me, folks. Just strolling around with my nuke. <laughs> That's so funny. Don't mind me, folks. Just strolling around with my nuke. Alright, where is it? Uh, I can't even... Oh, it's down here. Okay. I don't know, I think that's just the funniest thing. Don't mind me, folks. Just strolling around with my nuke. I don't know. Stuff. Practice your German, dear. You need it. Practice 
Bobby told me that the Fuhrer painted the Mona Lisa. Oh. That he made the Adam Hello there, bomb. sir. Please. And then he put my head Have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? Oh, We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn Adam bomb. You gotta break him the news. Come on, Peter, let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no don't have any butts. Oh, we got a poster oh. right there. Peter Schiff. Danke. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you come, Dad. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers. Please. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of station six. What is the location of Station 6? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. I don't trust you, Blaskowitz. But there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskowitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the pass where the Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. It's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. You know? I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. <coughs> Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, 
Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah, pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments due to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, there's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martians. No, okay, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talked. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are you are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. <laughs> I did not mean to rile you. Uh. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free from shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. I love Super Spesh. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains. How's that? I don't know what that is. Graphic glitch, maybe? Caroline, you still copy? You think they can see I'm fading? Without your wings, I would fall. No, we do. Oh, what the hell? They got rocks.
rocket trains now. Got one signal, it's pretty far away. I believe he's probably in there as well. So we do have three hats, so that's good. See, I don't see anyone walking to the left. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, let's see. Do we want to put a scope on here? I mean, uh, I think that can wait. I think I saved the grenades maybe for last. Let's go and put the suppressor on here just so we have an alternate suppressed weapon. What? I heard somebody say soldier down. I don't see anyone that could have saw me. I think that's actually the first time I did uh, this part stealthy. Man, Nimico, bitch. Oh, we got unknown Nazi scientist journal, June 12th. There's something wrong with Lutz. He has become increasingly temperamental and strange. A week ago, he started playing loud music in his lab. As it is against the rules I had to speak with him, it's the only way to have some quiet, he answered, looking all frazzled. He keeps playing his music. Tells me that mescalero ghosts haunt him in his dreams. Today I sat next to him in the cantina for lunch. Under his breath, he repeated chant-like phrases in a language I did not recognize. When I asked about it, he said, oh, I think it's just a song. I'm concerned his work on the Dash Yushid artifacts is taking a toll on his mind and his mental well-being. Star card, armor. Not gonna take any of the, uh, health. 
General Engel's e-post from Engel to all senior military, July 4th, 1961, Terror Billy is somehow still on the loose. There never has been a military power of greater might or a better equipped intelligence community, and yet he remains free to terrorize and murder. That this subhuman hasn't been captured is unacceptable to me and to the Fuhrer himself. If it was not clear to everyone, you number your number one priority is to capture is the capture of William J. Blaskowitz. Do not fail me. Do not fail the fear. Oh, you failed. Oh, got some concept art. It's a train and just some propaganda. All right, let's guess. Let's go. Now we gotta power them up. Let's see, I guess if we're not gonna come back in here, let's just grab the health. So, oh, All right, let me, uh, oh, shit, get a grenade. some more armor. Let me check in here. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a map as well. Commandant Hummel's e-post from Wolfgang Hummel, 52 train train station, July 4th, 1961. Boss is freaking out. You guys seen the shipment? We're supposed to receive a delivery for in dash G1 out of Romania, an artifact potentially so important the excavators piss their pants. Well, it never arrived to the labs. Where the hell is it? Overcommando is breathing down my neck. Let's mayor. If you have info, let me know. People are under a lot of stress here. Come on. Let's Meyer's research note. Let's to do. Delegate artifact handling to Wolfgang. Schedule appointments with psychologist. Document audio hallucinations. Tell Wolfgang to move all artifacts from my lab. Ask for a transfer. Request more Mescalero reservation workforce for the West Area expansion plans. So something's going down with the artifacts. Alright, we got more armor. Thank you. Let's check out this one. Letters from the American people. Thank you, Germany. Sent in by reader Mark Johnson before the Liberation War. If someone would have asked me if I could imagine being part of the Greater Reich, I would have said no, Siri Bob. Well, I will be the first to admit that I was a gosh darn fool back then. Let me explain. Every day I wake up in my comfortable bed here in the American territories, and I think, thank God the Germans came and liberated this country from the normal, the moral degradation, degeneration that was going on truth of the matter is the white American race was dying because reckless politicians were mistreating their power in this country. What is shameful about being white and being proud about it? Practically everyone says it's been scientifically proven that we are superior to all other races. Well, the shaming days are over, thanks to our new beloved Fuhrer. They have truly taken this country and the page is torn in half. Concept.
another record. Let's see. And an e-post. Steve Johnson's e-post from Steve Johnson to Let's Mirror, July 3rd, 1961. Interesting points you bring up, Let's. Dyershid artifacts appear on the surface almost magical, but as we uncover their mysteries, we always find them to be completely technological in nature. Unfolding magic into science is the curse of the scientists. Each passing day we make our worlds more complex, but if we struggle to understand the complexity, how is it at all possible to invent these devices in an era perhaps even more, even before the scientific methods was convinced? Perhaps that is the greatest mystery. By the way, did you hear about the research center in Aust Austria? The whole building collapsed. Many dead. I hear there's rumors about something wrong with the concrete. I'm just worried because Heinrich was working there. I just spoke to him the other week over the phone. I still don't know about the concrete. Right there, that's just a door. Alright, we're on the move. Gotta head up front and grab the controls. But we all know what's up there. Oh, here we go, a shotgun. Didn't see him. Hey, alles klar? Damn it. Shooting at me. Where the hell did that guy come from? Well, this part really wasn't designed to be stealthy, obviously. Give me some of them donuts. Now this part is actually kind of difficult. And I don't know if you can actually get this guy before they detect you. Let's go see if we can do it. I was never able to actually do this part stealthy. It's one of the reasons is because it's really hard to see when you're out here.
Now those two are dead. But you have these robots right here. Go down. Let's just make sure we got them. Make sure there's none hanging anywhere. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, I guess the, uh, the one guy at the top that was just standing there. I did always get him silently, but I guess the second one I never did or something. I don't know. But I was never able to do it silently. I might actually get it this time. Where the hell is he? Oh, it must be over here. Oh yeah. Let's... Thanks for that name code, buddy. I think we got a couple more rooms. Yeah, I don't know if there's people in them, but we got an e-post, Mahai Papescu's e-post, to 52 Research, July 3rd, 1961. A warning from Romanium Excavation Site Number 4N. The latest shipment 4N-G1 contains an extremely dangerous artifact. Officer Vassal, responsible for processing the artifact, was found dead with blood gushing from all the major orifices of his body. We do not yet understand what happened to him, but I can assure you it was not pleasant. Be careful. Also, we will need to move the grave site from the Mescalero Reservation Workforce. Plans for expansion of the west area have been finalized. I suggest burning whatever remains the cleanup crew finds. Save space and unpleasantries. Okay, if there's, if any of the, uh, we cleared that. Oh, hello, sir. Where is that dude? Okay, and we don't need to worry about these robots, I don't think, because we didn't alert anybody. Well, maybe not. Where'd that dude come from? Can we just go through all these rooms? Yeah. Let's just make sure. Ah. 
Hope there's a big guy somewhere. No idea. Well, now they do. Shit, that was dumb of me. Let's go, guys. Man, those guys with no armor kind of take a lot to kill. Okay. But yeah, when you uh, alert the guys before that, man, it's kind of difficult. This one's kind of difficult too because they, I think, automatically are, yeah, are already on high alert. Alright, but what we'll do is uh, end the part here. When we come back, we'll go ahead and take this out. So, have a good day, guys, and I'll. Get out of here. Alright, have a good day, guys.